Welcome to Slain Excel Dragons video number 29. Hey, these are the videos that accompany this book. We are still in chapter 5, the epic chapter 5 formulas and functions. We got a great video here. We're going to talk about the match function. Oh, oh, but wait a second. We just talked about the match function in the last video about VLOOKUP. We saw some great uses for VLOOKUP and match together. But in this video, we're going to, we want to see one of the coolest uses for match. We're going to use match function to compare two lists. And this is just really common out there in the working world. People always have you know, their list, and then there's the master list. And you need to compare to find out, hey, are our items in the master list, or are they not in the master list? And we're going to see two formulas to do that. I'm going to go over to our workbook. Excel is fun start. You can either download it from the link below the video if you're watching it at YouTube or go to the DVD you got with the book. All right, here's our situation. Uh, here's our list. Here's the master list. And we simply want to find all records not in master list. So we could eye this, right? That's in the list. This is in the list. Oh, oh I don't see it in the list. Now, if it's a huge list, you, you just don't want to do this with your eyes, you want a formula to do it, right? Formula is not going to make any mistakes either. All right, can we use the match function? Well, let's remind ourselves what the match function does. Match function is a lookup function, and it looks up a value. So let's just say, hey, match, go look up this. Now, what does match do? It goes over to this list. It doesn't return anything like VLOOKUP. It just tells us the relative position. So right now, if we said match look this up, it would say it's the first item. If we were going to say match look this up, two. Match, hey, go look this up, it's not there. It will return an NA. And that's an error. Usually, we don't like errors. But forget it. For this situation, NA is exactly what we want. All right, so let's finish our formula. We got our lookup value relative cell reference. The lookup array, I'm going to click in this top cell, Control Shift down arrow, and F4 to lock it. Now remember, this is a, um, a lookup table, so we're never going to um, want it anything but absolute, so I always just leave both dollar signs there. Comma. And one other thing, match totally awesome because this range can be vertical or horizontal, comma, and we want match type exact. These are words we're looking up, and they are not sorted alphabetically, so we just say exact match, and I'm going to type a zero. That's it. That is the magic formula. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now, usually people are annoyed by errors, but in this case, Wow, that error tells us, ding, 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 this customer is not in our master list. Now, you could do a few things here. Let's just think about this. We saw how to sort back in Chapter 3 and actually in our data analysis section coming up. In the future, we'll see all sorts of cool tricks for sort. But let's try to sort. And what sort does, and we'll see this later, it, it will sort all of the NAs together. And then we can copy and paste. Now, I'm going to right click sort. A to Z will bring them to the top, I mean to the bottom. I always forget that. It's one or the other though, right? Right click Z to A will bring them to the top. Now you can do whatever you want. Copy, paste, um, copy, paste, put them to the bottom of this list, or copy, paste, and put them somewhere else. Now I'm going to control Z, Z. Another thing you could do is sometimes people don't want the NA, although I like the NAs. You know, plus it's super simple. You do that and you can sort them and there you got it. But if you want true for this item is not in the list, can you believe it? There's a bunch of functions called is functions. And look at this. Uh, these ones will find errors. And I can't remember. I go look and help. One of them finds all the errors and one of them finds all the errors except for is NA. Is error is blank finds blanks, evens, just logical values, and there it is. Can you believe it? They have an is and a function, plus a bunch of cool other ones all the way to there. Non-text, number. Non-text will find anything that's not text. Uh, so we want is, error, is and a. 
you know, it seems like a strange little function to have because errors are bad, but in this case, we love the error. So is NA is perfect. Notice we just put a value in there. If it's NA, it gives us true. If it's anything else, it'll give us false. Control Enter, double click and send it down. So there we have our trues. One step further, perhaps you wanted one text string or another, so what can we do? Well, is all the is functions deliver one of two things. They're actually logical functions. They all deliver true or false. Man, that sounds perfect. If we wanted two text strings in the cell, we just put the is NA match inside the logical test. Hey, look, this is cool. We're nesting three functions all together. Comma, and then you could put something like, you know, add to list, meaning the is NA was found, and so add to list. And then comma, the value if false, whatever you want. I can't think of what to, to type. Never mind. Right? Remember, text in formulas always goes in double quotes. Control Enter, double click and send it down. But remember, the heart of this formula is match. The NA is good. All right, now, this is find all records not in master list. Other times, we want to do the reverse. We want to find all records, find all records that are in the master list. So we'll do our match, left arrow, comma. All right. Oh, I did that right. But OK, so I'm going to click there, Control, Shift, down arrow, F4 comma, zero, close parentheses. Now that's just what we did before. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. But now we're not interested in the NAs. We're listed, interested in the numbers. Now I already sorted this one. This usually wouldn't be sorted like this. Oh, we can use not is NA, but is number, because the number is the thing that tells us now this is in the master list. So is number and match. Double click and send it down. And there we have all of our true. So all of these items would be the in items we're interested in. All right, match, just totally amazing. In our next video, we will see uh, the match function again. And we will use it inside the index function. So we have some amazing index match solutions. And these are for the most complicated um, or devious lookup situations where things like match alone or VLOOKUP alone won't work. All right, see you next video.